We created the Business Away Day as a pilot directly in response to the funded report we did with Natural England. The Natural History Consortium is a charity and a collaboration of 14 organisations based in the West of England and nationally. And our consortium members work together on a shared mission of connecting people and the natural world. So when it comes to business and their interest in nature, this is an area that we see is growing exponentially. So the evidence is crystal clear that time in nature is good for people's mental and physical health. Our next challenge collectively is to show that time in nature is good for productivity, it's good for employee wellness, and that there is that business benefit coming back. Today's pilot session, the Nature Away Day, is a really important step in helping providers and businesses taking part to help us grow that evidence base. So today we've spent the full day in the Bristol community. This morning we've been doing some community-based gardening activity with Bristol Parks. And this afternoon we've been learning to do Nordic walking with um, Let's Walk Bristol. My organisation took part in this because we have two um, volunteer days um, every year that we are paid to attend. And this sort of thing is really very tied into the mindset in the workplace that we have, which is they're heavily invested in mental health, looking after the people, you know, and our, our well-being is key to what we do. And I think this is a really valuable experience. So we were invited to take part in this offering for uh, corporate organisations to have a go at doing some social prescribing type activities within the community. And this has been great because we are a community benefit society, so we like to work with all members of the community and that includes the corporations that are amongst the community. And what we do is give the people in those corporations and um, other organisations the opportunity to try a bit of uh, gardening for wellbeing, a bit of art for wellbeing, as well as um, receive the benefit of the financial input that comes into that which then goes back into all the community activities that we provide to the wider community. Our organisation wanted to take part in this today because uh, long term we've been involved in these kind of projects, um, sponsoring community gardens and it's important for employees to have the opportunity to uh, work together cohesively and to have new experiences where they might not have those at home. What was special about today's session is that we were working with a team of employees from a couple of companies. And the big thing about working with people who often at desk bound jobs, in fact, the team of people that we were working with were um, in accountancy teams. So they're very much glued to their screens. is just to give them the opportunity to come out into a local park in Bristol connecting with a local organisation, we're a community interest company, and moving their bodies, having fun and connecting and learning together a new skill together as a team. So I'm part of a, an organisation which is a community interest company, not-for-profit um, organisation called Let's Walk Bristol. And my background is Nordic walking, which is quite a niche um, activity, a lot of people might not have heard of it, but it's enhancing your health and well-being to your regular walking and it engages your upper body and your core in the act of walking. Personally, I've had a great day and I believe I'm saying this on behalf of the rest of the team. We all seem to have enjoyed it, being out in the park, in the, uh, in the fresh air. So it's, um, it's really good to get away from our desks and, um, and learn how to appreciate nature. We offer nature connection sessions for well-being, particularly for organisations and workplace well-being. The benefits of working with organisations, for them, their businesses, is really about taking care of their employees. And it has two factors. There's both health and well-being benefits, but there are also environmental benefits here. Because the more connected we are with nature, the more we care for nature, the science has been proven, there's research and evidence that the more nature connected we are, the relationship that we have with nature means that we will care for nature and we have more pro-nature behaviour. So it's supporting employees' well-being 
ensuring that they don't burn out from stress, but also to support the organisation's environmental agenda as well. It did give me space and time. Although the weather isn't perfect, I like the rain on my face. It's a beautiful environment. Um, the people who led us through the session are very open and empathetic and guided us well. I really got a lot out of it personally. We are so pleased with the range of businesses that have come out. It's not just kind of nature and outdoor businesses taking part today. We've got everyone taking part from accountants to um, construction agencies to administrators. This really has shown us that these activities are of interest right across um, the sectors in the west of England. Uh, we've learned so much from our providers about what's worked well for them. This is definitely the start of a much longer program. I hope that what we've learned from our program today will help set the foundations for a much more structured and ongoing program. This is something that needs to be built into the DNA and the kind of annual financial year, the corporate strategy for businesses in the region. We need to work together to put those building blocks in place so that we're not starting from scratch every year, but it's something that people know is coming around at a regular time and that we can make it bigger and even more inclusive.